Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdoğan has said he will soon rename his controversial new presidential palace, adopting the name of the complexes surrounding imperial mosques. Erdoğan said in a January 16 speech in Ankara that the presidential palace would in future be known as the Presidential Kulai and will contain a mosque, convention center, and a gigantic new national library. Thinking big is not the work of dwarves, said Erdoğan in his characteristically earthy language. This is not to offend dwarves, I love them too, he added. A kulai is traditionally a complex including schools, kitchens, guest houses, and bath houses which surrounds a mosque and is managed by the mosque. Some of Ottoman Turkey's greatest imperial mosques in Istanbul and elsewhere have impressive kulais and it is this tradition that Erdogan appears to be harking back to. Erdogan recalled that Russian President Vladimir Putin had expressed admiration for the palace during his visit in December, saying it was a work befitting a great state. He seemed to raise the idea that the palace, or Kulai, will become a tourist attraction in the future. You see tens of thousands of tourists going to the Kremlin, he said. Erdogan opened his hugely controversial new presidential palace on the outskirts of Ankara in October. It has 1,150 rooms and was built at a cost of around 490 million euros, $615 million. He says the palace is a symbol of a resurgent Turkey that he is building. But opponents decry it as an extravagance in an increasingly authoritarian state.